guys, it's your girl Linda P here. I'm here at the Medici Road Casino Night Fundraiser. Hey everybody, we're out here trying to raise money for Vent Property. Come on and hang out with us. Yes.
because I know I'm between you and the gambling, so I'll be very, very quick. Uh, I want to do a couple thank yous first. And so we have Jaren over at the bar. He was at the bar. Oh, there we go. Uh, the most important person here at the bar. Today, so I'd like to shout out to Jaren. Um, to Kier from Hyper Beats, we've been on the Hyper Beats for two years straight, like amazing. Uh, we will also make sure you guys have the link to the Hyper Beats tonight to make sure you guys are good, like share from those, but like she makes you look very good, like my right side. <laughs> Um, it's always fun to see those. So you're playing on the table with always fun to see those. Um, so thank them very much for showing up and making sure we have a good time and learn how to actually not lose our money. <laughs> so I want to say uh, Art Dreamland Cafe. And so I met them actually at another event, uh, black owned in the district, um, caterer who clearly has great food. And so I want to say thank you very much for uh, people in the district giving opportunities for people of color to own businesses that are not just like bartenders, which are great, but also like hiring. I think you guys like hire like a 10 school people like in the Nash, like like you're like, that's a lot of people. And like, great food on top of that. So uh, shout out to, um, to, to you guys for like providing food for this evening. Uh, Melinda, who's our blogger, who's somewhere oh. around here, thank you, does a very good job of making sure we look good. Uh, <laughs> this is my right side for photography. This is my best side for blogging. So that's very like nice. <laughs> showing up making us look very visible as well. And then uh, the person who like the day to day makes sure everything showed up on time. I mean, just by Crystal Renee, like she ran everything for tonight. Um, so I thank you very much for that. Uh, shout out to her. Uh, but I want to say, hey, thank you all for guys showing up today. This is our second year for the event. Um, it gets a little bit bigger every year. And the, the key piece of what we're trying to do is like have a good time, but also make sure people know what we're doing, what we're working for. So we don't do direct service. There's some people out there who do a really good job of direct service, and that's not what we do. And so we are this idea of think and create so that things side is more long-term, changing policy, changing systems around uh, poverty reduction. But then also recognize that something has to happen right now, not 10, 20 years down the line, and that's the create side. So we actually use data to create programs and products that will actually change the lives of people who are living in poverty right now. And so I want to just, uh, for people who were here last year, or who were here for the first time, I want to like, let you know really quickly what we've done over the past year. And so we are probably, cross your fingers everybody, about a month away from a pretty good grant that will allow us to hire our first tech director, that will allow us to hire two policy people, and we'll, for the first time like in the country, uh, we're trying to like pilot this program where we're taking people who are actually either currently in poverty or three years removed and turning them into policy makers. If you think about people who actually make policy, they went to do Harvard, Howard. Uh, you know? But like they are, they have forgotten what poverty feels like and are creating policy for people who like actually live in it. And so what about somebody who actually lives in it, having to create policy that will affect them and their families? And so we're piloting that. And so the money that we're raising over the couple of um, like six months or so, we'll start the fund coming stuff. And that's from the think side. From the create side, we actually just finished the research and we're about to launch uh, two products. Uh, the first one is this idea that no matter, it actually started with my wife and I, about to have our second kid in April. And I saw all Shout out, shout out. That's all the time she's like way smarter than me because she got a PAD and stuff. Um, I do have an MBA, but I could not believe it with my kids. I could take great with home. So what about the parents who don't have a college degree? They didn't finish high school. And so we created a product that like starts to uh, to adapt to what their intellect level is or their education level is and create uh, a workshop or worksheets with their kids at homework no matter where they are up to eighth grade. And we're about to roll it out pretty soon. Um, the second thing we're actually going to be able to roll out is uh, no matter if you're a Trump supporter or not, you've heard about opioids the uh, past year, right? Uh, maybe, maybe not? Yeah. Uh, okay, so y'all heard about heroin, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so heroin is an opioid. Now, and the idea is that uh, if you live in D.C., you've heard about K2. So all of that stuff is an issue in the district, and there's a, a thing about prevention. And so we're using virtual reality and partnering with conversations uh, to, to help people to not actually try it in the first place. And so those are our two big projects for the year. I'm gonna stop talking now, but everything, every, the, every dollar we're raising is either towards hiring people or one of those two products. Whether it's today, tomorrow, whatever, like we'll be in contact with at some point in the next four months to have those conversations uh, to either recommend somebody to be a great director or to give money to some of those products. Uh, Drake, 
eat plate, and it's my last plug. Uh, there's some great prizes. Um, this is the only one that's not a wrap. This one goes to whoever wins the most money. Uh, and so you have a hundred dollars, and everybody has eighty. I guess you win. But I'm pretty sure everybody has more than a hundred dollars. The more you play, the more you win. Mm -hmm. um, that's the TV. Everything else is wrapper based. And you can buy more money. So if you run out of money, you can come back over here and say, what? Buy more money. What she said. So for $2, you can get $50 more to play to. You can buy your way to the TV. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, just saying. All right, I'm done. Have a good time. Play, be very drink, eat, buy more chips. Good play. Yeah. 